Well, I wanted to focus our time on praying for our country uh, today. So there's a lot happening in the last week, and I want to focus on some big things um, that, uh, that are going on in our country. But I want to present in a way that we're going to go to prayer because we have an even bigger God. And if you were here, hopefully you say amen, who I believe can work even in places of hurt, brokenness, and injustice, that God, would you work at healing through this? Um, so as many of you are aware, uh, this just six days ago, starting with the death of George Floyd on, on Monday, May 25th, um, that really just set off a whole catalyst. There's definitely a, a systemic racial injustice in our, in our country. Uh, our God is beautiful. He created diversity, but in our fallen nature, we created racism. God created diversity. We created racism. And we've seen that played out over and over in our history, but also recently. Director and, uh, uh, and actor Will Smith, I like how he worded it, uh, at least how he captured it. He said, uh, racism isn't getting worse, it's getting filmed. And so now we're just seeing what already is uh, up front uh, on a more public way. Um, and so we want to we pray. And for those who are, who are watching, uh, especially African Americans, blacks, and people of color, uh, our heart just breaks with you. As many of you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a biracial family. My wife is half black, and uh, um, my great-grandmother is actually, uh, she was black. And so uh, it just hits really hard. And uh, for some of you, you're just, you're just grieving right now. We want to grieve with you. When one part of the body hurts, we all want to hurt together and be able to comfort one another, care for each other. This is a great time to listen to. Maybe, uh, maybe you're kind of like, what's going on? I don't really understand the extent for why there's so many uh, people responding this way. Uh, it's a great time to listen. Just be like, hey, how, how you doing? Like, how's your heart? Your heart's breaking. Why is your heart breaking over what's happening recently in the past several months? It's a great time to listen, a great time to love. Um, so we're going we're gonna to pray, uh, Lord, for, uh, for justice and for, for healing, for love to flow. Um, I do want to make mention, uh, I'm really excited about this. There's, been, there's a lot of prayer uh, just going into what's being shared. And uh, so I was thinking about it. Um, I really want to do a hope chat this week. Uh, and that's an online live Zoom interaction where we talk about different topics. And uh, I felt like the Lord leading me to reach out to Bishop Bill Clark in Buffalo. Uh, many of you might remember him. He came and spoke with his wife, Tony. They ministered to us in February and July of 2017 fantastic couple. We had a really fun time when they were here, and I felt like the Lord's like, yeah, you need to, you need to reach out. So we will be looking sometime this evening, uh, not, sorry, not tonight, sometime this week during the evenings. We haven't like landed on it yet, but we'll be having a live Zoom conversation about racial injustice, but specifically hopes we can take, um, uh, steps we can take of hopes, of hope to be able to bring healing to a place where there's so much brokenness and hurt in our country right now. What, what are some ways we can be the solution? So look for an announcement on that this week. So it'll be a hope chat with uh, Bishop Bill Clark from Buffalo. We'll be talking about racial injustice and ways we can take steps of healing together. Um, so that's one way to be praying. But as many of you know, there's, there's the racial injustice issue going on. There's a lot of uh, nonviolent protests and people just protesting and, and wanting their voice to be heard, which is great. Um, but there's also, and for a lot of different reasons, a lot of violent riots going around our country. Um, and so we want to pray for also just the safety of our, our, our those who are trying to, to care well and, and bring um, uh, stability to what is chaos. Uh, this morning, uh, Pete Popeil, uh, one of our members, uh, called uh, asking if we could specifically pray for his son, Brian. Uh, son Brian uh, serves on the Secret Service in Washington, D.C., and he's been right on the line. You might have seen this in the news, but he's been right on the line uh, guarding the, the, the White House uh, with other Secret Service. And uh, uh, he just had a, uh, just as you imagine, just it's not all police officers, obviously, are racist or, or hurting. There's a lot who really love people and value people. And, uh, and just praying for uh, Brian's safety as well as his fellow uh, Secret Service officers as uh, some were injured uh, last night with, uh, with, a, with a, um, I believe it was a bike gate or something getting thrown at them. And so uh, let's also pray for the safety of those who are trying to bring peace and uh, order uh, to what are violent protests as well. So we, there's a lot going on right now, but we have a big God that we're believing can work in and through. Um, also just want to pray that we would be filled with love in our relationships with one another. I love the quote from Martin Luther King Jr., Returning hate for hate multiplies hate, 
adding deeper darkness to a night already devoid of stars. Darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. And that's Martin Luther King Jr. And Jesus said it this way, which let's, let's cling on to the words of Jesus this morning. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is like this. Love your neighbor as yourself. No other commandment is greater than these. So we have a lot of different things we can be praying into today. And I will pray, um, but I want to take a moment where we can all just pause, whether you're watching this live or the recording or the audio, or maybe you're seeing this on Facebook later. Let's just take a minute just to pray. We're just going to pause. It's so easy just to take in all the news and all the things and hear in the podcast and all these opinions and different things. Let's just take a moment to pause, breathe, and we're just going to pray, Lord, we want to lift up our, our country to you and, uh, and even inviting the Lord, Lord, teach me how to pray. How can I pray into this would be according to your will and your kingdom come. So there's going to be a slide up with some music in the background. And let's just take a moment, specifically, let's take a minute just to pray for our country together. I want to read this scripture as we're wrapping up this prayer time. Jeremiah 9.24 But let him who boasts, boasts in this, that he understands and knows me, that I am the Lord who practices steadfast love, justice, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, declares the Lord. And I just wanted to use this as a, a way to be praying. Heavenly Father, uh, God, thank you that you are a God who delights in steadfast love justice and righteousness and god we just pray that we can make space in our lives together to see your righteousness your justice and your love abound both in our lives our communities the state this country lord it's so evident that we so so need you jesus forgive us when we get in the way of loving anything less than what you called us to god would we embrace the more loving others like Jesus. In your name, amen. Well, thank you for joining in prayer, and uh, I know it was just a minute. We can keep praying throughout the day with friends and family, um, and potentially this week, I think we might even be having some prayer times as well, um, but uh, yeah, prayer, let's, let's go there, and let's be hearing the heartbeat of God of how we can respond during this time.